Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Painting Hyun. Today, we are going to be painting beautiful, beautiful flowers. The Rose of Sharon is the national flower of Korea. It is called Mugunghwa. In this flower have five petals, one, two, three, four, five petals, and one pistil, and uh, plenty of small stem on here. Okay, looks so beautiful. Okay, today I will show you how I draw a shadow on the flower. It's kind of this. It will be drawing very simple. Just add some colors. Okay, and already I sketched in advance. So we are going to use the lavender, ultramarine deep, magenta, and um, emerald green nova, sap green. But then it's okay you if you don't have any lavender color, you can mix ultramarine deep magenta color. Okay, we can uh, mix to, together this color, uh, make the, some purple color, and add some a lot uh, water. You can get a very a watery a purple color and some add some uh, other colors yeah you can get a thick a purple color okay i'm going to start to background first so brushes we are going to use the hwahong brush and this one is the escoda and da vinci this one is the gen art from the gen art uh, these brushes I'm going to use the first time. Okay, yeah, Jenard uh, uh, sent me this uh, brush for the uh, reviewing. Okay, thank you for Jenard for sending me. Okay, and I'll try add some uh, water first. So background first, so I add wash the paper, background first. So be careful, I'm not apply water in flower area. So, yeah, but then I'm, we are going to use the wedonet technique, so apply a lot of water on uh, background area except the flower be careful the edge l edge line okay one or three uh, two times apply water okay it's okay this uh, stem and uh, yeah If you have masking fluid, you can use it, but then this time I don't want to use uh, masking fluid. So I want to get a natural effect for the background and flower. Okay. And apply water. Can you see it? this uh, paper surface? A little bit shiny. It means a lot of water on the paper yeah flowing the water right now okay okay and next i wanna get this emerald nova first This is first layer. I'm gonna get more this more of the green color. Emerald green mix, ultramarine deep color. Okay. 
underneath the flower. Tilt the paper side to side, back and forth. Okay, I want to get abstract effect from the background. the purple color so I'm adding some color kind of a purple and it's kind of this color for background because is this uh, color is not dry yet so we need to some color still this paper wet so you can uh, brand some color and add some any colors what you want any color okay don't be afraid just to try it and yeah I want to add some magenta color from here Ultramarine mix, uh, ultramarine deep mix, sap green. So I'm going to try uh, this leaf first because this paper is still wet. So I want to get the wetness style for the leaf. So this one is the um, first layer for uh, this leaf. Look at that. Look at my brush stroke. Move very quick, right? Underneath the flower, the darkest color there. And Can you catch the, my brush stroke? I try again. Uh, be careful watching my brush stroke, okay? I'm going to try this one. What did you get? 
from my brush stroke. Yeah, my uh, brush stroke for uh, when this paper still wet, my brush stroke look at this. Touch it and slide up very quick. I'm not stay um, this brush longer time on the paper, right? Just to stay short. This one, that is very important um, using wet on net uh, technique. So it's not dirty mark anymore, but look at that. I'm going to try the center of the lid, a border line. I'm going to start. Right? Border line. Even though my brush is very thick, but then I can make it, right? It's very important. Okay, next I'm going to try this thin gen brush, okay? It's okay using this brush very uh, slow. But then move quick, better uh, effect, better result you can get it, right? Wow, this brush is so nice for us. Okay. Okay. This one is the lightest part, so I'm waiting for the dry this paper, okay? Next, we are going to try the uh, stem. Um, that is actually almost a brown color, but then we don't have any brown color, so Miss Ultramarine Deep Mix, this magenta. It's kind of a black. Then, yeah. It's okay. Oh no, now too much water, my brush, okay? Where is it? Green mix. Magenta color, so kind of a brownish color. So I try this. And after uh, this paper hole dried, we're gonna touch up again for the, this stem, okay? It takes a long time for the background, right? Okay, and um, we are going to try a main flower.
and then I want to make some thin line in the center uh, it's not it's, it's not good time for make some lines so okay yeah. we are going to use uh, back of the brush here make for some lines we used to did this technique for many times okay If you don't want to draw some lines on the uh, pattern, yeah, you you uh, yeah yeah yeah, don't do any lines. And I wanna put some magenta color, the edge of the brown edge, the lip area. Tapping some magenta color and wiggled some brushy. Add some thick magenta color again. And make sure the edgy lines. Okay, we are going to try first uh, this flower. Apply water. Except the stem on area. And then you have to save this uh, flower sticker area, okay? This is lavender color from the petal light area. And just to, uh, hard pressure. Yeah. Okay. I I will try some. Yeah, I I'm using the second uh, same technique for the petal. Look at my brush stroke. Move very quick. Here is the highlight area, so I have to. You have to, and I have to save that uh, space here.
if you can take up some color okay and next to get some lavender mix ultramarine deep and some dark and deep uh, creamy color so get some uh, colors touch tip of the uh, touching edge of the flower Draw some lines on the uh, paper. This paper is still wet, so we uh, the lines remain very smooth. Right? Someday. Okay. And now I want to add some this thick magenta color for the center of the flower area. Wow, this brush is so smooth. Okay, here. Wow. Wow, this brushy point very sharp.
Okay, this shadow, I'll be back when it, this paper fully dry. Okay, next we are going to uh, Stemman. Stemman used up, um, use ultramarine deep. Light is the coming left uh, upper side. So here is the darkest area. So just to put the a bluish color on the uh, dark area. That's it. and add some very uh, small tiny of the yellow put on the center Okay, for the shadow, shadow is light is left uh, white uh, top side. So this here is the some shadow from the this uh, flower. So just to add some. Blush color put on the shadow area and drag that color. Shadow color is uh, a dark to light is good for uh, dimension. Shadow here and another shadow Lastly, we are going to some detail on the shadow part as we can touch up the painting. This shadow is too dark, so I will take out some dark edge line with cream brush and paper towel. And okay, rubbing the paper with the, this cream brush. But then now, you don't need to too much water in the brush, okay? I don't want a big edge line, a strong edge line, some, some take out color. And here.
And also, I want, I don't want to make some uh, dark edgy line on the flower area. So some part take out some color with the cream, cream brush and paper towel. This is very worth it, worth it. Okay, here. Okay, almost, yeah, and here is the actually uh, this highlight area, but then before we uh, touch it with uh, some blue, bluish color, so to already some dark line, and so uh, I want to touch up background yeah so I want to make a little bit a dark with the background if you touch up background make a little bit dark you can see this flower a little bit lighter and make a pop out Right? Okay. And on the stem on shadow, I'm just to take some dark brown, uh, dark blue, just to tap, tap, tap uh, the center of the stem on okay. okay we are all done this video thank you for watching this video and also i want to give it a try again bigger size or a smaller size okay See you next time. Bye.